So, uh, my name is Barry McCarthy, and I'm a psychologist, sex therapist, and couple therapist in the United States. I uh, work in, at American University in Washington, D.C., and live in Chapel Hill, North Carolina. I'm really looking forward to coming down, uh, coming up to Toronto to talk to you about some of the vulnerabilities and challenges of uh, couples as they go through their lives and their relationship. And that, let me start off with the good news. The good news is that couples can definitely maintain both sexual function, but especially sexual desire and sexual satisfaction in a long-term marriage. And we, at the workshop, we'll be talking about strategies and techniques to help you do that. Let me give you the bad news, though, too. And that is that one of the big vulnerabilities for couples in marriages is that they treat sex with benign neglect that they don't put the time and energy and thought into what it takes to be a healthy sexual couple. And what people used to believe was that the key element for sex was increased arousal and increased orgasm. There's a new mantra now in the field, and the new mantra is desire, pleasure, eroticism, and satisfaction, and all four really do matter. And that one of the challenges for couples who maintain a healthy sexuality as they age is that they want to be both intimate and erotic allies or intimate and erotic friends. And that what happens with so many couples is that they stay intimate friends, but they wind up de-eroticizing each other and de-eroticizing the relationship. So that you've got to look at all four components and the most important component is sexual desire. And sexual desire is not the early part of a relationship, kind of the romantic love, passion, sex idealization phase. The idea with sexual desire is to find a couple sexual style that really works for both of you and that allows you to feel uh, that each of you deserve sexual pleasure, that you can anticipate being sexual. And that one of the key elements in, in healthy sexuality is that um, there's a sense of playfulness and experimentation and also a sense of unpredictability, that there's something really nice about predictable sex, but there's also something challenging about, uh, about unpredictable sexual scenarios and techniques. And those are, we're going to talk about case studies. We're gonna talk about both what enhances healthy sexuality as well as what subverts it. And interestingly, in terms of Toronto, is one of the best sex couple sex researchers is at the University of Toronto, uh, Toronto Emily uh, Eminet, and that she's done really wonderful research about how you maintain uh, sexual satisfaction. And that um, sexual satisfaction is more than orgasm. That's a really important concept. And we're always in favor of arousal and orgasm, right? but the, that the key element in satisfaction is that you turn toward each other as a couple and that you feel more energized after a sexual opportunity and you feel more desire and desirability. So um, the, again, what the good news is, is that you can teach couples to value intimacy and sexual desire, to value that the core sexually is giving and receiving pleasure-oriented touching. You also want them to learn erotic scenarios and techniques that really fit well for them. So much of what is written in the media and on the internet about eroticism actually intimidates couples. It doesn't motivate and empower couples. And they've got to find a style where eroticism really does integrate with intimacy and pleasuring. And then last but not least, again, is that sense of feeling better about yourself as a couple and um, more desire and desirability after a sexual opportunity. 